Welcome back, everyone. Christmas is always in season here at Hallmark yes, Channel. Is. Isn't that the true? And here in our home, in our Christmas quarters, they're showing us how to create festive DIY Christmas tree maps inspired by the Hallmark Channel original movie, Christmas movie, by the way, Finding Santa is Ken, right, Ken? Yes, I'm so excited the movie is airing again because I love it. Jody Sweeten, Eric Winter, and I just love the, the whole concept. So, you know, they're have, she's in charge of the town parade. Yep. Their Santa for the town gets hurt in the sled, in the sleigh, and so they go on the search to find another Santa that really has sort of the spirit of Christmas. And I find it interesting because especially with kids, and with you know in-laws and traveling and parents, you sort of feel like you're bringing Christmas on the road a lot, and you're always right. like looking how to bring that Isn't Christmas that along with you, right? And so it started just me thinking about you know, as a kid, the maps and finding Grandma's house and all that. So like let's let's bring those together into a DIY that really celebrates that sort of finding the Christmas spirit, no matter where you are for the holidays, and no matter where. And this DIY <laughs> no matter, that you're no doing, it's where. a little inside joke with his H's and the W's <laughs> before, but also it's really great because it's a great way to remember all of the great Christmases we've taken because you forget the years. you, you go, oh, forget that's right. we were there yeah. right exactly i had to actually i was looking at some old photos and i had to call my mom and i'm like mom where was i at this photo what christmas was this because you know what one forgets was that, that was the one i was like mom Aww. where were we? she's like that was in front royal you were five years old oh that was front royal God. virginia my that's grandmother's right. house oh, um, and i'm sure that with our kids like they'll be like oh you know how san old francisco? were we in san francisco exactly um or whether we're somewhere spent up in oh, boonville and goodness. visiting santa so i love sort of taking those places, because you're the same way, right? Same like, way, whether Christmas we're in New York or Virginia. Oh, there we are in Virginia this last Christmas. That's quite the and tree. Then, uh, well, it wasn't in my parents' house. <laughs> oh, there we are, that was in another tree, the same place, but that was also in Virginia. We have some in New York as well. Oh, look, that's all family. Oh, I love where was that? Picture. That's in Virginia as well. It's every Christmas. Virginia's a big thing. Well, my whole family's in Virginia. John's family's in New York, so we also, right. we'll, we stop in New York, then we right. go down to Virginia, and then, you know, sometimes we'll be in Michigan if they're right. in Michigan. I love so that, just absolutely love that. So yeah. this is something perfect for us and all the people at home that spend Christmas in different places. So let's start off. You want to actually create your Christmas tree. And I find it easier just to create a Christmas tree pattern. You know, very easy to do. Fold your piece of paper in half, use some cardstock, and just cut out a tree shape. Super simple. For those of you who don't know, always better to fold it in half Smart. and then unfold so you get a, you know, a symmetrical tree. tree. And I did a couple of different variations of it. Did one large, one small. Um, and what you want to do is just keep those, cut them out of cardstock, and you can keep them from years to come. Okay. Now, when you go on your trip and you're at grandma's house, you're at the aunts and uncles, go ahead and get a map. Stop at a, <coughs> a gas station, um, get a map of that town. I think it's great for your kids to talk about where you are. Right. I picked Richmond well, because of you. Um, and then all you're going to do is get your tree. This is super, super simple. Go ahead and trace it out with your template. You know, this is fun, Ken. It's fun, and it's really my kids are obsessed with maps now because they're starting to understand. Yep. Do that, and then you're basically going to cut it out. I have another one here I've already cut. Okay, it says lovely. Virginia with Richmond right on it. Love that. And super simple and basic. All you're going to do is get that, attach it, and then pop it. Was that double sided? Tape? I use double sided tape because I found okay. it's easier. Because often with glue, you'll see the line. And to me, that oh, is Ken, just a, that's super cute. So easy and such a simple, wonderful memory of whatever holiday you've and been. It's so easy. Now you can get a little really bit like more interesting. Like here, I've got two Port Angeles and Front Royal, Virginia. Okay, your family. Because I've had been I've had this photo oh, of Mike when he was five years old, and this photo of me. Oh, in Front Royal at my grandmother's house when I was five years old. So adding oh, sort of cute. old Polaroids that you've gotten and then just make little labels. That photo has just been sitting around the house and I'm so afraid it's going to get damaged yeah, exactly. or lost. That's all you have how to did do. You, how did you make these labels? All I did, print them out on a you know piece of cardstock on okay. the computer, putting the year and information. And it's interesting, you want to put more information than you think you would need because your kids are gonna to want to eventually have that. For years so, to come. Exactly. Ken, I'm telling you, you were so creative. Do the other parents at school feel a little intimidated <laughs> when you show up? Well, I feel intimidated because I've got to like hold up the like, I can't show up with anything. Well, exactly. Now it's, you have a reputation to uphold. So something like this I think can work for you where you different Christmases, different years. Yes. So like I have our, you know, time that we spent in Savannah, Georgia, and I marked that Christmas 2018. Christmas in San Francisco, and then I know next Christmas we'll be spending it with Mike's family, 
So I put there Seattle with different roadmaps of those particular cities so that when we look back on it, it'll just sort of be this nice little memory. And of it's where so we spent wonderful because, you know, whether you're going to stay at your home or travel, you still decorate your home for the holidays. Right. Do you know right. what I mean? So right. leading up to Christmas, you'll say, look, this your is brain where goes out. And this it's just like going. time goes by so fast. Oh, and so man. having these little oh, moments where so we true. remember where we were and what the kids were doing. Breaks my heart. Yeah, I, was, I know. I know. So you want to see time go fast? Have a couple have kids. A kid.